This video is sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to protect yourself online, you're going to need a virtual private network. NordVPN has so many features and offers so much protection, you'd be a crazy person not to check them out. Some of my favorite features about Nord. Did you know that streaming services offer different content depending on what country you're in? Not only that, some countries restrict what you can watch or see on their internet. With NordVPN, you can choose exactly what country's internet you want to see. Another cool feature is that there is no data logging because their headquarters is in Panama. No one will ever find out about all that SpongeBob hentai you've been watching, whether it be on desktop top or mobile. Right now you can get a two year plan at a huge discount at nordvpn.com slash donut operator and use code donut operator to get one additional month free. Totally risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Let's get on to the video. Hi everyone, Donut here. We'll get right on to this, this little Jeremy DeWitt thing that's happening. <laughs> I haven't done a video about him yet. Popo's done four? Four videos? Three? Oh, three, something like that. If you haven't heard of Popo Medic, he is what uh, has been described as me when I made good videos. <laughs> so go check his YouTube channel out. That's how I found out about him because people on Reddit were like, wow, this is like when Donut made good videos. Jeremy DeWitt was on Dr. Phil today and he's been all over the internet, especially police type content, YouTube channels for the past two years, maybe. Dr. Phil actually did a pretty good a pretty good summary of who he is. So let's go over who he is. Jeremy owns his own funeral escort company, but says he's being falsely accused of impersonating a police officer. So he's being falsely accused of impersonating a police officer. That's what Jeremy says. We're going to talk about that. And if convicted, could face up to 85 years in prison. Jeremy says videos from his funeral processions have been leaked online, received millions of views, which they have. Shout out to Real World Police channel. And as a result, he is being victimized in his community and misrepresented in the media. Is Jeremy playing cop or just doing his job? He says he's not impersonating police officers or he's not trying to be police officers. He's just running a simple funeral escort business. Wait, high risk, right? High risk, high special operations. Special Forces Delta SEAL. He's allegedly, though, allegedly. impersonating a police officer. Jeremy's on Dr. Phil. I, I'll just summarize it because we're going to watch some of his videos. He's on here saying, I am not impersonating a police officer. Why are you carrying a, a, a non-lethal weapon? For self-defense purposes. Against zombies because it's a funeral escort business in case they come back from the dead. So his company is called Metro State, and this is what he wears. And Popo Medic was pointing out to me earlier, I didn't realize it. But if you look at his patch right there, like his little badge, and then you Google the Los Angeles police patch. <laughs> it's City Hall. Man, that's that's the City Hall in Los Angeles, California. That's so freaking weird, man. That, that's uh, that's an unfortunate coincidence. Yeah, for him, it's, you know, it's definitely allegedly. motor officer patch right there. Let's go to our good friends, Real World Police. Yeah. This is body camera footage from him escorting funerals. Pass me. That's one of his company's cars right there, Metro State. It does not look like, guys, that does not look like a cop car, okay? It looks like a regular. Regular funeral escort. Regular car. car. According to him, also, the police cars and the motorcycles that he have, they don't replicate actual police agencies because the lights aren't blue. They're like, purple they're and purple, orange. purple and orange. That's another one of his cars. Okay. Not, not to be confused with a, a police car. I love how real world police just shits on him too. <laughs> He's like in the bottom real world police is like, in case you were wondering, the funeral escort statute doesn't cover this. Oh, you mean passing cars at a hundred miles an hour yeah, over like- wrong, Facing the wrong direction. Oh, here we go. Is this the detective? This is the detective. Yeah, All right, so there's rumors that this guy who rented the blue Sentra's uh, off-duty police officer. This is an alleged traffic stop right here by alleged. someone who's not a cop. The fuck over! <laughs> but Sergeant, it's not me. What? We're going to watch that one. What are you doing? What the fuck does it look like I'm doing, dumb fuck? Get the fuck over before you find out. Stop pretending you're a police officer 
Listen, stop motherfucker. It. I know what I'm about. He says, stop pretending you're a police officer. Seth Rogen for the win, right here. Dude, I love him. This guy is... This is a rental car. He doesn't even live in Florida. He's just doing his own thing. And then still flies back to Florida to file a police report and get Jeremy a charge. <laughs> I'm allowed to do and what I'm not allowed to do. What you need to do is figure it the fuck out before you start talking shit and cutting us off. I'm not do, cutting anyone. Go ahead and pull your little phone out. I'm not Do your little Google off. search and figure out what we're doing and what I we legally what allow. Doing. Good. Then back off and give us room. I'm not. You're a, I'm not interfering with you at all. You are by you are running blocking, along. You've been blocking traffic. Yeah. I need you to stay to the side, sir. Dude. That's what the legal I'm law is. The go legal. back and look it up. <laughs> that's what the legal law is. That's what boy. the legal law is. Allegedly. Technically, that's the law. Call it now. Please, 911, right now. I'm not calling 911. Go ahead. Call I would have called, dude. Well, that would have been awesome if he did call 911 and he's like, hey, yeah. this guy fucking pulled me over and he's not a cop. <laughs> Talk shit and then he takes <laughs> off. There's one of them not police cars right not, there. Not. It's a protection unit. Yes. Dude, like, how, I, do I really have to explain this to you guys? That's a protection. Yeah, do unit. you guys not understand what's happening? This is like a car club he's or breaking, something. He's breaking the freeway. Stopping an entire interstate. Yeah. You just shut down fucking 90 fucking motherfucking five. And not a motherfucking. Yeah, this is the part. Not a motherfucking. He admits that he's, what he's doing is good. It's going to tell him we outrank him. You don't outrank a fucking turd, dude. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there. Allegedly. Allegedly. Blocking the interstate so this car show, this car club or whatever it is, can get onto the interstate. So it's not even a funeral at this point. He admits it in this video that it's weird, though. This is a funeral for somebody that owned Corvette, right? God damn. You god damn fucking right it is. God damn right. Somebody that designed Corvettes died. I can't control the statute. The statute says that you want to get to the front, get to the front and find out who it is. I don't know. Yeah, cremations are in the lead car. Cremations are in the lead car. Make make contact with, make 1025 with the lead vehicle. You know how many guys in cargo ass. shorts are passing him right now in their Corvettes? <laughs> <laughs> so, so many khaki cargo shorts. So many cargo. khakis. <laughs> When we made contact with Daytona Beach PD, the motors, they already knew what we were doing, and they even knew what we were, how we were doing it, and they were okay with it. I'm like, what? He's aware of what he's doing. Is allegedly breaking the law, and he admits it right there on his body camera. GoPro. <laughs> you might be wondering how police came to possess Mr. Dewitt's body camera. It was seized as evidence during one of his fall 2019 impersonation arrests. Mr. Dewitt was 18 years old when he was the first arrested for impersonating yeah. a police officer. How old is Jeremy Dewitt? It, he could probably retire with a pension, a fake pension <laughs> by now, right? Alleged, <laughs> alleged, an alleged, alleged pension. An alleged fake pension. All right, pause it. Right so, there. The person in this, this white Honda Civic called, met, they looked up Metro State and called and complained about this guy on a motorcycle blocking the intersection. And Jeremy Dewitt pretended to be a guy named Jay and handled the call and basically told her to go fuck herself. Really? On the phone. It's on body cam. He recorded the whole conversation and he got a charge for wiretapping because in the oh, state of Florida, you have to have two party consent. Two party consent state. Yeah, so he, <laughs> so he got a charge so, on that too. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the complainant right there in the white Honda Civic. I love how he has a high and tight too. You would have a fucking high and tight. DeWitt stolen Valor. Oh, that's such a good video. There's Mr. DeWitt right here with Metro State. You can, you can see him because of his stupid face. And he just talks up these girls about his military service. Yeah, Tampa, Tampa police. Tampa. This is Tampa police right here. Did you ever work for the Oviedo Police Department? No, I in was in a, a sworn capacity. Not in a sworn capacity. But other than this an explorer. situation back in the <laughs> 90s at this gas station when you were young, you never told anybody you were a police officer or that you had been a police officer or anything like that, no. right? And you didn't tell them that you used to be a police officer, neither the uh, yeah, Tampa police officer. I told them that I used to be with an explorer uh, unit out of Oviedo. Yeah. Okay, so if I look at the body camera video, that's what it's going to say. Sure. There's so much lore. <laughs> I know there's so much lore, dude. There's, dude, this MMORPG is, is insane. Dude. This is the best thing like, ever. This, this but, is, yeah. <laughs> has like the depth of Lord of the Rings right now. We're getting yeah. all these backstories on all these characters. The thing is, is that you think you know about me? I served as a cop. I served as a cop. I served as a cop.
What department did you work at? You said Orlando. <laughs> oh, Orlando. Orlando. Wow. Yeah, okay. okay. You were uh, you were a uh, not a reserve. You were a uh, An explorer. explorer with Oviedo, right? Sure. All right. Did you ever work for the Oviedo Police Department? No, I was in a, a sworn capacity. Not in a sworn capacity. You didn't tell them that you used to be a police officer, neither the uh, Tampa police officer. I told them that I used to be with an explorer unit out of Oviedo. I served as a cop. That's an explorer unit. Jesus Christ. An, an explorer unit. That's a cop right there, by the way. And then I served for 12 years in the U.S. Army. Okay. As a major. U.S. Army. Not the Egyptian Army. I love real world police. They're like our videos, but they don't talk hardly ever. Yeah. But they're they're investigation and research skills are amazing according to the national personnel Records center jeremy dewitt never even served in any branch of the u.s military if you look behind him there's an army special forces flag right there mm. <laughs> let's hear about his service some more though yeah First, thank you for your I service. Did yeah. I did the army. I, I was young and dumb and I wanted action, so I joined the army, was a ranger, and then I went SF, and then my parachute didn't work right, my back got hurt, my brother got killed. Uh, Pause that. That's what I want to know. You better figure out real fast. Man, we don't know. Have I entered your facility? This is him being a complete fucking dickhead to just some security guard. Pause that. You better figure out real fast. Man, we don't know. Have I entered your facility? Yes or no? But security what? officer. Dude. Are you clear for that? Sir, what's your GS level? Because I know what my military <laughs> level was. Sir. My classification. Okay. What's your GS level? It's not even cleared. His DS level's too low. <laughs> what are you That's the one who goes to the gas station. You see the fucking lights, dumbass? Last field was 97. Motor one's moving. Motor one's up. Hey! Pull over! That what do we call those? Traffic stop. Yeah. That that was a traffic stop. Pull over. Pull over. Stay there. Unlawful in prison. Yeah. Yes. Allegedly. Ale alleged. There's video traffic in his head. <laughs> he's like a, he's imagining the first scene from uh, what is the end of Watch with Jake Gyllenhaal, <laughs> yeah. where they're chasing the drug dealers and they're shooting at him. He's imagining that all day long, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. There's a 9743 oh, okay, on yeah. my tail. Yeah. Oh like my God, the golden, car. Golden AK. <laughs> the car I was chasing just 43, 29. He goes home after a funeral procession, and he slams whiskey, and he's crying in his hands, and he throws his badge against the wall, and he's like. This job! This job! <laughs> he, he turns his own badge and pepperball gun into himself. <laughs> and then he goes rogue. Starts doing funeral processions. <laughs> solo. <laughs> He's impersonating a police officer. He's impersonating a police officer. Imperception. <laughs> There's so much impersonating. Imperception. Imperception. That's the Netflix Allegedly. documentary name. Christopher In Nolan, Netflix documentary, <laughs> Jeremy Duet. In perception. Boom. <laughs> Burn. The one. Hi. He goes. Bah, bah. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? You must have missed that it's 45 through there, and then you use the turning lane to cut through traffic. Yep. I understand you're in a nice car and everything, but let's be a little nice more car. mature the way you drive. It. Let's nice drive car. the right are way you then. A, are you a cop? Don't worry about what I am, because oh, no. I'm a state agent. So yeah, well, what you not. need to do is make sure you're doing the right thing, fuck boy. So I got this friend. His name's Matt Best. He's a ranger, too. I'll ask Matt Best if he knows Jeremy DeWitt, since Jeremy DeWitt is a ranger. Oh, he gets he gets into it with him again, doesn't he? Oh, dude, yeah. He full-on calls it. He gets off his motorcycle, puts the kickstand out. I must know who he is talking to, <laughs> says Millions. We were just saying that. We're like, he's, he's got to be fucking talking to himself. Allegedly. 100%, dude. This is a harassment charge, at least. If you create a pattern of doing shit like this, that's a harassment charge also. This is borderline terroristic threatening. About that life. Fuck boy. Yeah. That's real nice. Yeah, I know. Real professional. The way you almost hit me, fuck boy, oh, yeah, is the way it's professional, five. bitch ass. So, what if the dude would have got out of that car and beat his fucking ass. What if the guy was even crazier? What allegedly? if the guy pulled a gun? <laughs> You're not a cop. You want to fight? You can violate the fucking rule too. How's He's that? Like Please stop me. I didn't pull you over. Did I make a traffic fuck stop off. on you, fuck boy? Fuck off. Yeah. Boy. You're lucky fuck I don't get out and beat. Come on, let's go, bitch. Just get out your fucking car. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Boy. Come on. Fuck boy. Fuck boy. Get out. I'm calling you out, bitch. Come on, follow me, motherfucker. The guy said, follow me. Come on. Yeah. This 
guy's in a convertible Porsche. Do you know how many dudes he's knocked out at a bar <laughs> at an Applebee's? <laughs> and you really think Jeremy DeWitt stands a chance? This fucking guy so in a many... flannel t-shirt in Florida in a convertible? So many Dude. Applebee's fights. He's gonna get the smoke. If he followed him, he's gonna get the smoke. We, he oh. wouldn't even be on Dr. Phil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get out anytime. I got off my bike. Go. Okay, fucker. You know if the guy got out of his car, Jeremy would be like, <laughs> fuck boy. Yeah. Oh, anywhere you want to go, right there. We go straight, bitch. Go ahead. That's an awkward silence with the van to his right. <laughs> the guy said follow him. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. And he didn't follow him. He looked like he was looking for a fight. That SNSF, the special needs special forces. Whacker.